Hello friends, in this video, let's see about cluster data type. In cluster data type, different data types can be combined together and made to perform as a single data type. In arrays, only one data type can be used, but here we can use different data types. So first on front panel, I'm placing a cluster from data containers and expanding its size. Since I have to place all the controls of different data types inside it, now I am selecting the controls of different data type one by one and placing it inside the cluster. I am placing a numeric control, a boolean push button, a string control and then from rings and enum I am selecting enumerated or enum data type and placing it inside this cluster. And to enter values in the enum data type, we have to do a right click on it. And if I select edit items, a box will open. In this box on the right side, we have to click on insert option. And under items, we have to give the data to be entered. And index value need not be given. It will get set automatically as 0, 1, 2, 3. And after that, we have to click on OK. So that the data is entered here will get entered into enum. And again from rings and enum, I am selecting text string and placing it inside the cluster. And to enter values, I am doing a right click on this text string block and selecting edit items. Hence this box has opened. Here I am clicking on insert and under items, I am giving the data to be entered. And then I am unselecting sequential values. Under values, I am giving 10 and clicking on OK so that the data is given in the box will get entered into the ring. And next we are going to unbundle all the data types we have placed inside the cluster. So on the block diagram screen, I am doing a right click and here from cluster class and values, I am taking unbundle by name function or just unbundle function and placing it on the block diagram screen. This function can separate the data types given inside the cluster. The unbundle function can just separate the different data types and the unbundle by name function can separate the data types with their names. Since I have placed unbundle by name function, the data types which we have placed inside the cluster are separated according to their names. And if we need only the value of one data type, we can just select the data type and use it. And next on the front panel, I am entering the values and all the other controls placed inside the cluster. And on the block diagram screen, we have to connect the indicators to the output terminal of this unbundle by name function to get the unbundled values. And one of the advantage of cluster data type is sometimes while creating sub vi we may need to give more number of inputs but the number of input terminals will be less in that case we can combine all the inputs of different data type as a cluster and after bringing that cluster into the vi we can unbundle the cluster and we can use the inputs so i am connecting indicators to all the output terminals of this unbundle by name function and placing them all in such a way that they don't overlap each other. On the front panel also, I am arranging the indicators and then I am running this program. So all the values given in the cluster can be seen as outputs in these unbundled indicators. Then again I am changing the values in the cluster and checking this program. In the numeric control, I am changing the value as 20. Then I am switching on the boolean push button and then on the string I am changing hi as hello. And again I am running this program. I am getting the output same as the input given in the controls placed inside the cluster. So this is about cluster. In our next video we shall continue with another topic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support. Thank you.